Scientology's Parents of the Week. Hi, I'm Myla Kramer, and I'm the mom of a beautiful three-year-old girl. I find that every day is both a challenge and a blessing. Hi, I am Janet Hall, the mother of three, the realtor, and I love diamonds. Hi, I'm Rosa Vidal, and I'm a single mom of three, still trying to find a balance between work, school, and family time. Whether you're a single working parent or married, raising children while working full-time can be very challenging. You want to spend as much time with your children without having to give up your career, yet you often find yourself behind the eight ball. So how do you balance work and children? This week's Parentology's Parents of the Week are going to share their experiences and how they've balanced both career and children. Joining me today are Rosa Vidal, Janice Hall, and Myla Kramer. Thank you so much for joining me today. So how do you do it? How do you balance career and children? How have you done it? Myla. I think, I think it's a balance between um, communication with, for me, for, with my husband, um, support from family and friends, and um, understanding from work. Um, you know, I worked several years before um, becoming a mom, so I think there was, people were used to me being um, available um, and uh, having a lot of flexibility. And Rosa, you have three children. How, how do you juggle both? Um, well, work or school for me because I did just graduate and work as well. And with three kids, well, basically having a really good babysitting team, I call it. <laughs> But really it was my mom or like my grandmother for backup and I'd always have like two good friends just in case like mom or grandma were busy. Janice, you also have three children and uh, you work for yourself. H how, how do you manage to do both? I work for Prudential Manor Homes and I am a realtor and my hours are very flexible. So to me it is very easy um, to manage um, work and family. Now do you ladies work because you want to or because you have to? That's a I, tough question. I think so. <laughs> I work yeah. because I want to. Okay. I don't need to work. I don't have to work. But I love what I do with a passion. I love people. And to me, it, I don't have any other choice than to work. Is it important to you as a mother to keep your career? It is. I mean, it's important for me, I think, um, sort of like on two parts. One, I want to be a good role model for my daughter. I want her to see that you can work and you can um, be a strong woman and be a good wife and be a good mother. Um, and then also I, I feel like it's important for me if I wanna be happy at home that I do for myself. So do, do you ever have parent guilt because you work eight I hours, do. more hours I, def I definitely do. I think that once I sort of go over my regular work time, I start feeling like the pull of, you know, she's expecting me and our regular routine is going to be changed. I definitely feel guilty sometimes. It depends on like what kind of day it is. I like working my regular schedule, but like if I have to work on Halloween or something and I can't take my son trick-or-treating, that's a sad moment for me. And I'm like, I don't want his dad to do it. I want to do it, you know? And when that happens, do you talk to your child about why you have yeah. to go to work? And like I'll prepare him like ahead of time. Like, you know, this year daddy's taking you trick-or-treating or something, you know, but and he never has a problem with anything because I always give him a heads up. That's always good. But I feel more guilty inside. He doesn't notice it. And how about you? I am in the opposite side. Never, ever, ever feel guilty at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have the most wonderful husband ever. I have a great mother that is able to support me and my dreams. And they are either with my mother or with my husband. And I never, ever, ever feel guilty at all. Not even when your kids are sick? Uh, no. Okay. So, so what happens if you get a call, you're at work, and uh, you get a call saying your, your kids are sick, you have to come home. Like, do you feel guilty? Do you leave work right away? What do you do? Oh my goodness. I've actually had a hair client before, like color in the hair, and I've got the call and my pocket was vibrating and I'm going, what is this? People know I'm working. <laughs> And it kept going off and off and off. And finally, when I had, a, you know, like the colors on and I can let her sit and process, I'm checking the calls and I'm like, oh, it's the school nurse in the school. And my mom's calling me because they're calling her because she's the emergency person to call. And they're all like, you have to pick him up. He's not feeling good, you know. So I so had to. So what did to, you do? 
Um, I told the school that I'd be a little while. I have to at least wash out my collar. <laughs> it's going to process for 20 minutes. I'll be there in like a half an hour as soon as possible. For me, if I get a call like that, that's top priority. And I've, I've never not gone to where I need to go because of work. I think that, I mean, work is very important to me. I, I love my job, but my family comes first. So do you ever feel stressed because you're doing both career and being a mom? Not at all. What's the secret? <laughs> no, seriously, what's tell us. I mean, like, you know, these moms watching this right now, now, they want to know what is your secret. Well, she sells million My dollar homes. No, I'm kidding. So if she gets a ten thousand dollar profit. That's probably her secret. <laughs> if I worked for Prudential, Rosa, I would tell what's you. your secret? Are you? Do you feel stressed? Um, my secret, I guess, is my team. I always refer to it as my team, my family, my close friends that understand me and my kids and like when I need to go or do something or they really need to be there for me, they always understand because we stay really connected, you know, and I make sure the kids are always comfortable around these people or else they would not, obviously, I wouldn't be comfortable. So let me ask you, mm -hmm. what's your advice then for parents uh, watching the show right now, parents that maybe don't have any family here in the area, what, what should they do if they don't have that support? Like I say, I have the support of my husband, I have the support of my mother, and I have many, many friends that, like me, do work outside the house, and if they need me, I will help them out, or if I, or if I need them, they'll be there for me. So that is a huge secret. Okay. Find friends around you that you can always go and say, hey, I have an appointment, I have to be there from here to here. Can you please look after the kids? Believe me, if you have five or six of those around you, not always call the same person because pretty right. soon they'll, they'll say get no. Tired of you, say no. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a huge okay. secret, like she said it. That's why I always have like grandma for backup, or you know, my sister, or you know, a friend and a family friend. So that way. You know, if you know, mom's sick of doing, yes. you know, Half many of sick them. duty or so, something. So, based on your answers, it seems like you guys probably have time for yourselves. You managed to find no, my life. No, no, I, I don't no. have as much okay. time for myself because no. I'm a single parent. But yeah, no, I, I don't. And, you know, my my husband's <laughs> great because when classes come up that I'm interested in, he's like, oh, if you want to do it, you should definitely do it. But it's it's tough. It's tough so when you feel guilty. I know I do. You feel guilty. <laughs> okay, you caught me. <laughs> you don't want to feel guilty. Come no. on. Just no, go. I, no. I do. It can be very. It can be very tough when um, my husband has certain times of the year his job is very demanding, and there are certain times of the year where my job is very demanding, and when those overlap, there's definitely a lot of stress and there's a lot of guilt. Um, but as I said before, I think that you have, like to me, the, the most key thing is having really good communication with my husband. Because sometimes you, you just have to talk it out, figure it out. Um, you know, you reach out to the support system. And my family is, is not here. They're, they're out of state. My husband has family here. But we don't have a wide range of people that we could sort of tap into for help. So we have had those conversations of, well, is your meeting more important than my meeting? <laughs> and okay. trying to figure out, okay, who's, to who's going to go to their meeting? Who's, you know, who can we reach out for help? And it can be, it can be stressful. Final advice for parents going through this, like Rosa, for example, as a single parent, what advice do you give to other parents, single parents that are out there in the same situation, juggling both career and children? Well, if they don't have like, you know, a few family members or maybe even just a few close friends or just one person, then I would say um, check into some services. Maybe there's like a, a babysitting council. They could give you a listing of child care providers. You can go yourself with your kid or by yourself um, or with a good friend, just somebody to give you um, some more feedback on it and just check out different babysitters, um, locations. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say okay. if they don't have a team. But if they have a few good people they can think of to maybe reach out and say, hey, like, would you mind babysitting? You know, can I pay you or this or that, make arrangements with? Then I would say to try to find a service that will help you along your way. Okay. And to Janet? To all the mothers out there, I would love to let them know that they must take care of themselves first. You have to be happy 
yourself in order to give the whole family, give them all the joy and all the happiness that is in you. So take care of yourself first. Make yourself happy. So don't stress. Don't, don't stress. stress it out. Life is wonderful. Try to make there it a happy to process. Forget about the yesterday. Yesterday is done. Forget about tomorrow. You can't do anything about tomorrow. Concentrate in the now. I would say, you know, realizing that we're not perfect and we might make a couple of mistakes along the way, but um, trying to make the best decisions and talking, you know, with, you know, your spouse, talking with your family and just sort of pulling those resources. And I think sometimes just saying, okay, I know I'm not going to always get this right, sometimes makes it a little bit easier. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining us. Your advice was great. Thank you so much. And if you would like to ask either one of these moms a question, feel free to email me and check out our website, parentologywithpaula.com.